So this is to serve as an update for my mangrove tank. It has been running now for about one year. All the livestock is thriving. Everything is growing and healthy. I have added some macro algae temporarily. The mangroves are growing slowly, which I don't mind because I really don't want them to grow large in this small tank. One of the cool things about a small tank is you can observe your inverts more closely. Here we have a red-legged hermit, a large Mexican turbo, and a Stendipecius zanzibaricus, sometimes referred to as a gold coral banded trip. He's chosen an ideal place at the front of the aquarium for great observation. I do have one fish in the tank. It's a royal grama. He is quite elusive and shy. I don't see him that often. I would like to find another small fish that wouldn't jump that I could add to the tank. If you have any ideas, post a comment below and I'll check it out. Though most things are done really good in my tank, I still am struggling with some hair algae, though most of it has dissipated. Now I'm dealing with cyanobacteria due to my inverted phosphates versus nitrates. To remedy this, I've decided to use GFO. My phosphates are currently 0.23 and my nitrates are zero. I will start also dosing neonitrate to raise the nitrate. Another pest that has reared his head is some red planaria. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I do manually remove it uh, on a daily basis. I have not decided yet to go the nuclear route of using flatworm X due to the fact that when you use flatworm X, one of the side effects is that the poison released by the planaria can kill the rest of your tank. I use an AI prime to light the rock flowers, recordias, and other inhabitants in the reef tank. The mangroves are lit by plant light that I purchased on Amazon. And there is some supplementation given by some XHO reef bright strips that are partially over the tank. The water return to the tank is accomplished through a lily pipe. And then I have a standpipe going down to the sump this tank is part of a larger system, which has about a hundred gallon total volume. Here's some pictures of the tank under the blue lights. It's interesting to see the corals fluoresce under the blue light and also how they look different during the daylight. During the daytime, the rock flowers don't look very impressive. In fact, they're very dull, but under the blue lights, they really fluoresce and the beauty comes out. The recordias look uh, good either way and the uh, dragon's breath algae looks fairly well under white light but also shines in blue light. Overall I'm really happy with this tank. The tank is healthy. Uh, there are some areas where I need to address such as the cyanobacteria and planaria, but the coral health, the anemone health, the inverts and livestock health is all doing well. I do have some containers in the tank right now because I am setting up a macroalgae tank and the uh, dragon's breath will be going in that tank. I plan on setting up a uh, macroalgae display. This tank was designed just to be for Caribbean species, so I want to stay within that realm. And Dragon's Breath is not a Caribbean or Florida algae. The tide simulation effect is still working. I did have to drill a new hole because the first hole got clogged, but that was very simple in lowering the water level, getting out a drill bit and drilling a new hole. If you like this video or have any questions, leave me a comment below.